Hi and hello guys. So today in this video, I will uh, introduce you all to a new feature uh, that I have introduced in the GSSPy project or the Google Assistant SDK project. So I have added an ability for the users to control the Google Assistant uh, using an infrared uh, remote. So what you can do is you can send uh, predefined uh, queries or requests and also you can control other aspects like starting a conversation, muting your assistant, so on and so forth. Okay, so I have also given the wiring schematics in the readme document. So, and you can find other details of this as well. That is the GPIO you used and all other details in the readme document. So, after you connect uh, the infrared sensor according to the wiring schematic that I have given, you need to enable the IR control in the config.yml file in the uh, project folder. So, only after that you will be able to use this feature. And before that, you need to actually uh, decipher the codes for the different uh, buttons on your infrared remote. So for that, I have uh, given a script or I have prepared a script which will uh, print out the codes upon the button press on your infrared remote. So make sure to run that. So now it will uh, start looking for the button presses so once you press a uh, button on your remote pointing at the infrared sensor you should see your code being printed so make a note of this code so as you can see uh, it will be scrolling fast but once you stop the terminal you can just scroll over and then make a note of all the codes So if you scroll up, you can see the codes for your button presses. So I've already included some uh, basic codes. Uh, you need to definitely replace them with the codes of your uh, remote control. I have just placed them there for the users to get an idea as to how they should enter the codes and the syntax for them and so on and so forth. So if you take a look over here, uh, I have a new code over here, which is 58048. Copy that and then add an entry over here and over here you need to add a command for that so let me say mute so one thing which you should notice the number of codes over here should match the number of commands otherwise it will run into an error or it will crash after this you can save that save the file close the file and if you launch the assistant now it will start responding for your inputs so i have pre-programmed four different buttons so one corresponds to the custom stop action And the second button corresponds to uh, start conversation. And one of the button corresponds to a time query for London. How are you today? Thank you. So one button was to start the conversation that is instead of saying the wake word OK and the Google I just broke up over here in order to prevent any straight detections on your side or the other keyword which is hey the Google so instead of saying those keywords you can just press a button on your remote and trigger your assistant.
do I have any alarms? So I triggered the assistant without saying the wake word, just with the infrared remote control. And I, and as you just now saw, I also programmed another button to mute the assistant. So as you can see here, now it says mute change to true. That is microphone has been muted. And upon the press of the button again, it will be unmuted or listening again. So now this changed and it says mute change to false. Turning on the microphone in the other sense unmuted turning off the microphone which says in other words muted. So that is how you can control the Google Assistant uh, SDK on Raspberry Pi using an infrared remote control. So I really hope that you find this video useful informative and just as I am making this video the new year is born over here. So wish you all guys a happy prosperous and a peaceful new year. Take care. See you all. Bye bye.